said, Senator, you keep the pork in Washington. Send us a few pigs and some corn and we'll grow our own bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's, uh, it's with a great honor and I, I'm representing the, the entire city council and our 502 city employees. Say welcome to, uh, we use first names here, Senator John and Governor Jim. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out this afternoon, and uh, I'm sorry we are a little late because uh, we had to stop at Belmont. Uh, we wanted to stop at Belmont so the governor and I could see the terrible devastation of those tornadoes. And we were happy to have a chance to meet with those people, and there's a lot of help on the way from the state. Uh, we're going to get some more from the federal government, but uh, they're in good spirits, and obviously they were glad to have the opportunity to see the governor uh, there. Not their senator, but uh, <laughs> uh, Marlon, thank you for the great job you do as mayor of Prescott. We really appreciate everything you do. Yeah. And, uh, great, great guy. So maybe I could just tell you one quick story about the importance of mayors. When I first ran for the Senate to succeed Barry Goldwater, a woman named Marcella Peters, who some of us know, very active, you know her, Jan. Uh, uh, was uh, my campaign chairperson and Chandler, yeah. and I won Chandler, and I'd been in the Senate about six months, and one night at 2 a.m., the phone rang, and I answered the phone. She said, John, uh, this is Marcella. I said, what is it? She said, I got a terrible problem. I said, what is it? She said, they're changing the garbage pickup from front, in front of my home from Tuesday morning to Thursday morning. She said, I have to be at a Republican headquarters on Wednesday night. I have to be up early for Chandler Republic. We, we talked for about 15 minutes about this problem that she had, changing the garbage pickup from Tuesday morning to Thursday morning. Finally, I said, Marcella. Why don't you call the mayor of Chandler and discuss this problem with him? She said, oh, no, I wouldn't want to bother an important man like that with an issue. <laughs> really issue this trivial. So let's hear it again for the mayor of Princeton, Arizona. Let me also say a word about our great uh, Yavapai County chairperson, uh, Jan Smith. Jan, the work you do is wonderful. We're proud of you, and we're very grateful. We really are. And could I make mention again what that we all know? The Yavapai County is the, is the key area in this state. And all elections are won by a Republican unless they carry Yavapai County heavily. I mean, that's a matter of history. And look, we're doing fine. We're doing great. We're doing great all over the country. But my friends, how many races have you seen people slack off in the last two or three weeks and lose? Um, now, we've got a, a great man here who's going to be our next Attorney General, Tom Horn, who's going to say a few words in a minute. And Tom will tell you the number of votes that he won by to get the nomination of the party. 899, one-fifth of 1%. Wow. <laughs> okay? Okay? And, and so, and don't think that the Democrats aren't fighting back. Okay? There's going to be union money pouring into this race against uh, Paul Gosar, who, by the way, is a great candidate. And he, one thing... He told me that once he's in Congress, when you come in his office, they'll be playing dental music. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm so proud of the campaign that Paul ran. We've got to get out the vote. This is a critical, critical uh, election. When you, we, we are counting on taking the majority in the United States House of Representatives. In order to do that, we've got to win three races in the state of Arizona. Gosar, Schweikert, Jesse Kelly, and Ruth McClung, who is a fantastic candidate down there and is going to beat the guy that wanted to boycott Arizona, for God's sake. So, here we are with our president running around saying, blame it on Bush. Uh, uh, my colleague in the Senate, John Kerry, the other day said, well, it's the voters. They really just don't understand. Uh, you know that. And, uh, and my favorite, of course, is now that uh, Obama and Biden, it could be worse. It could be worse. 
I'm not making that up. It could be worse. Hello, Mr. President. It could be a hell of a lot better. <laughs> and they go around and they go around and saying that we're the party of no. Right, we're the party of hell no. Okay? <laughs> no to Obamacare. No to the stimulus package. No to this financial re reform, reform. No to the spending that's mortgaged our children's futures. No, no, no. And we've got to win this. So I'm grateful you're here. I, and, and I know everybody had something else to do this afternoon. But I want you to do something. I want you to do a lot in the next 25 days. And the first thing we got to do, of course, is re-elect the greatest governor in That's the United right. States of America. And the second first thing we got to do is send Paul Gosar to the Congress of the United States. So, there's a lot I'd like to say. I have an hour-long speech on the North Korean nuclear buildup that I'll save for another day. I want to say. I just want to say to you that one of the great pleasures uh, that I've had in political life and one of the great honors I've had in my political life is to get to know Jan Brewer for the last quarter of a century. I have watched Jan Brewer serve the, our state in a broad variety uh, of, of offices, in both state and local and county. And she has been thrust into the governorship of the state that is under assault. She is leading Thank our God. state. Yeah. She is fighting for our state. She is standing up against Eric Holder and Barack Obama. And all of you. She has stood up for Arizona. And, and, and now, by the way, in case you missed it, now 10 countries, yes. you know, yeah. Yeah. pillars of democracy like Nicaragua <laughs> are now joining suit against the state of Arizona. I, I, I wonder if the Secretary of Homeland Security or the Attorney General have read the bill yet. Uh, do you know that the President of the United States has never, ever once visited our border with Mexico? Do you know he never once? And yet, when we passed the, the SB 1070, that same president says, well, no one can take their child out for an ice cream cone in Arizona without being harassed. I mean, it's disgraceful. And through all this, through the attacks by the liberal media, through the attacks by Terry Goddard, through the attacks by the administration, including saying that somehow SB 1070 was a human rights violation yeah. Yeah. To, to, to the United Nations. This governor has stood tall. Right. All Arizonans are proud of this governor.